Hello again, guys. So here we have the Legion 5 Pro from Lenovo, which I want to um, test it with the user benchmark, firmark, and the 3D mark to see the performance. So uh, first of all, I want to tell you that I won't be screen recording this test because uh, I will show you uh, the app that records the screen dramatically uh, slows down the performance. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, uh, there is a mining script that is using my GPU and now I'm going to start the uh, OBS Studio that records. Now, from a hash rate of about 59 per second, it reduces it, as you can see over here, to about 55, going down to 51, and uh, it stops at about uh, 45 mega hashes per second. Now this uh, mining script uses uh, the GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 3070, and this means that the uh, screen recording app uh, slows down my performance. So when I run the benchmark, I don't want any performance to occur. Now I'm going to close the mining script. I close the, o the OBC Studio. I'm going to reset the overclock in the afterburner so we can see the stock values. Now I'm going to start the user benchmark, then the fur mark and then the freezing mark with the time spy. So let's go. Now, as you can hear, uh, the fans are getting uh, quite noisy, but it's normal for a laptop because uh, it has limited space, so it needs some fans, some really performant fans. Okay. I think. Uh, at some point, this app wants us to play a game to see the frames per second. So right about now. Okay, let's go full screen. So this is the skill bench. <laughs> So we had 300 FPS with a low of 300 and lowest of 5. So that's a very good value. 300 FPS is very, very good. Now for desktop, 98%. <laughs> it's a nuclear summary. Okay, gaming 26% and workstation 27%. Okay, uh, this is because this program. Uh, uses the AMD Ryzen 7 uh, and the RX Vega 8. Now, it did not use the dedicated graphics card, but even with these um, components, it's a very good desktop. So, um, let's go to the next one. The far mark. We are going to use the Full HD first, yes. so let's go.
Okay, so the framework is quite fluid. Uh, I like the way it uh, performs. Now the second GPU has a temperature of about uh, 60 degrees and the integrated GPU of about 50 degrees. Now also this firmware, I don't think uh, it uses the full potential of the GPU from NVIDIA. That's why we are going to use the 3D Mark, which focuses only on the GPU, dedicated GPU. Okay, so we have a score of 9000 and this is uh, quite good because uh, I tested before the Nitro 5 and the um, G17 uh, from Asus and the, this value of 9000 points is even greater. Let's just compare this score. Now have in mind that uh, it did not test the GPU. So 9000, uh, we are right above the RTX 2070 Ventus. Now with this integrated GPU, not the dedicated one. So let's go, let's test the NVIDIA RTX 3070. Okay, we are going to run the time spy. Let's go.
Okay, I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you can see the frames per second and the values of the future results. So, I can, so as I can see here, we uh, actually have uh, 70 frames per second, so 75 actually. Comparing with the G17 and the Nitro 5, uh, it, it's quite a big value. I think another two tests and we are done. So here we have about uh, 68 to 75 frames per second. Again, very good values for all these details. So, sorry about the interruption, my phone did not want to record over 17 minutes. So, uh, moving forward, I think this is the last test and we are going to see the results. No, that's all. So let's see, let's see if we get a value over 10,000. That would be great. Yep. So the graphics score is over 10,000. That means all the games, almost every game you can play it. Uh, the CPU score is uh, quite low and that's because I have the Ryzen 7. So uh, that got us a bit, little bit down, but the GPU performed quite well. <clears throat> As you can see, if we have the Ryzen 7, NVIDIA RTX 3070 GPU. Now this is the 130 watts version. Uh, no, actually it's the 140 watts version. Uh, even uh, has more watts than uh, the G17. Okay, so this is these are the results. We have the frames per second and the temperatures. Now let's see the highest temperature, GPU load about 68 degrees as I see 68 to 75. Now uh, those are good values. So, um, as, I, I, as I expected, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro got us a very, very good value over 10,000. Now, if you find the Ryzen 9, Ryzen 9 or i9 CPU, you might get to 11,000 or greater. So, that's all guys. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.